Shabbat Shalom. At 176 verses, Naso, this week's Torah portion, is the longest of all of the Parshiot. A dizzying array of ritual, censuses, sacrifices, job descriptions, the Sota, the Nazrite. It fills this week's Torah portion, and smack in the middle is one whopper of a blessing. Yivarachach Adonai v'yishmerachai, Ya'er Adonai panave lecha v'ikunaka, Yisa Adonai panave lecha v'yesam lecha shalom. These are among the most famous, often repeated, and ecumenical words of the Torah. We call it the priestly blessing. Others call it the blessing of Aaron. It's among the oldest of all of the prayer texts. It was used by the priests in the temple, and it is still used today. I love the simplicity and beauty. Three words, then five words, then seven words, respectively. These 15 words capture what most of us crave spiritually and emotionally, to be cared for, to be safe, to be seen, and to be comforted. The first blessing, the commentators agree, is for material wealth. May God bless you with material sustenance to free you to pursue your personal and spiritual growth. But it also says to protect you from that same material blessing. The danger of material success and the accumulation of wealth and material goods is that they may become an ends in themselves, easily corrupting us and encouraging selfishness and greed and corruption. Therefore, we pray that God will bless us with abundance and we pray that we will be protected from the terrible things that abundance can do to us. The second blessing is for spiritual enlightenment or knowledge. Like wealth, knowledge too can be corrupting. It can lead to arrogance and hubris. It is for this reason that we pray that the wisdom that God grants us be used with grace to benefit others rather than ourselves alone. I love that Rabbi Elliot Dorf translated it slightly differently. He says, may God grant you more than you deserve. Grace, he teaches, is blessing that goes beyond what we strictly merit for our own actions. And finally, the last blessing, the blessing of peace. So let's find blessings in our lives every day. Shabbat Shalom.